Good afternoon everybody, lovely late Saturday afternoon, beautiful day we've had, still warm, which is great for the middle of July, oops, August even, <laughs> uh, just back from the post office and a little shopping, we uh, packaged off a couple of parcels, one going to Savvy, uh, one going to Colonel, um, after he blagged that barber quarter at me, had it in my hands for two days and now it's palmed off to the States again. But, um, I don't believe in fate and all that malarkey, as you know. But, as fate would have it, when we came home today, there was a, uh, there were a couple of parcels waiting for us. Uh, first one, uh, just a load of different um, dimes that I picked up. These cost me literally a couple of pennies over spot. So, um, you know, all of these are kind of spares. These three here are the ones that, that matter because I don't have these for my little uh, album. So we'll maybe see if we can zoom in a bit and we can have a look at them. So 1917 San Francisco in Kraken Nick for a coin that's 100 years old. 1923 San Francisco and a 1942 Denver. Bit beaten up, but it's... Uh, Still in reasonable condition, and it's the only one I have. So until such times as, this is the one that's going in the album. As I say, 23S. Reasonable neck. Jesus, it's nearly 100 years old. And this one is 100 years old. You can say, certainly looking at this side, it's probably the one in the best condition. And that side. <laughs> <laughs> so cracking stuff. So three of those off to one side up there, this big pile all over here and I'd spoken to or I'd mentioned to Mike GPO in a hangout during the week that I'd managed to pick up $10 face value of Canadian constitutional uh, random pick, could have been dimes, quarters, half dollars, that's what I was expecting and look what I got. Ten lovely one dollar pieces so 65 60 these are all between 65 and uh, 66 66 65 65 66 66 63 63 and 65 and a couple of them look as if they could be proof. Maybe not. I don't know enough about the Canadian stuff to know if it was ever issued in proof. But as we know already, these 66s come in pretty good condition. So uh, that lot uh, cost me just over £90 sterling, which I suppose 9 quid for 0.6 of a... Mm, uh, I, I was happy with it because we can't buy this stuff over here and I literally thought I was going to get a bag of dimes so when I ripped it open and saw that it was all full dollars and all spectacularly good condition but I've kept the last or kept the best until last let me pop that in the middle. Oh wow, this is all looking very familiar. There it is. I managed to get another one of these little buggers. So, before you send an email to me, or before you comment, Colonel, you're getting the one I had last week. This one I'm keeping. <laughs> and look at that. 1892. And this time, nobody's been at it with a craft knife. I'm really blown away. I'd be lying if I said I got this at spot. I'd be lying if I said I got it anywhere near spot. <laughs> but, as we say around here, least said, soonest mended. Uh, and so we'll finish off with a quick look at that one. And uh, because it's nearly tea time, glass of cider on a hot sunny day. So what's this? Orchard pig truffler 
from the West Country down in England. So good health to you all. Lovely. Pop that there. And uh, we'll see. Please like, subscribe and comment. Let me know what you think. Tell me what a lucky bugger I've been finding two of these crackers in a week. Hey, it's a crazy old world. Until the next time, have a good one everybody and uh, take care. Enjoy the rest of the weekend.